Now that we've set up Revit and we have our components loaded in, um, let's start adding some walls. So click over here on wall, and you'll notice that your predefined is just a basic wall. Um, if you drag this down, there are some other options here. We're just going to leave it on basic for now. And a couple things to note is you're usually when you select something, you're going to have this green bar here. This gives you some information about um, that component you're going to place. But we can set this as a height or a depth. It is unconnected to the above level. And it's going to be a 20 foot tall wall. That's a really tall wall. So I'm going to actually set this right now because for our shed, we only want it to be 8 feet tall. The location line of this wall is always going to be based off the center line. And uh, for our purposes, that's going to be just fine. Now, if you remember what the constraints were, I believe it said that you needed a 12 foot by 16 foot wall. So if I click the rectangle button, I can just create myself a rectangle here. And click it one more time to select it. And I'll go over to modify. And you'll notice that there is a little shortcut that says MD. So if I just click MD, it automatically goes to modify. And some of these keyboard shortcuts are going to save you a lot of time. So I'm going to select the right wall here. And it, what it does is it gives me the dimensions down below. I'm going to make this 12 feet. I believe my constraints are 12 by 16. If I select the top one, I can change these dimensions. Make that 16. Now it's a little too big, so if you use your scroll wheel, if I scroll up, then I'm scrolling out. I'm pushing it away. If I click the scroll wheel and hold it down, then I can click and drag and move this around. So that looks good for those walls. They are unconnected, eight feet tall. Uh, the next thing I need to do is edit the type. Right now, this is just a solid wall. I want this to actually look like it's a sheathed two by four wall. So I'm gonna click the wall, click edit type. And now I'm into the wall structure. So what I wanna do is, this says it's a type wall, or type wall one. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna call it shed wall. You click OK. And now I'm gonna edit this wall. So right now, all I have is an eight inch thick structure. And then I have what's called a core boundary on each sides. So I don't need to worry about that core boundary um, right now. I'm just gonna insert some components. And by the design specs, it says I need to have siding, clapboard siding. I need to have a <coughs> So by design specs, it says you need to have clapboard siding, I need to have sheathing, I need to have the two by four wall, and you need to have the uh, wall board on the inside, or the drywall or sheet rack. Um, so the thickness of the clapboard siding is a half inch, so I'm gonna make this 0 0.5. The wall board is also 0 0.5, or sorry, the sheathing. The two by four is a 3.5 inches thick, and the wall board or drywall is a half inch thick also. Now the function of this, um, on the outside, it's a finished layer. So I'm gonna put a finished layer here. This is a substrate layer because this is the um, sheathing. The structure is the two by four. And then on the inside is my other finished layer because that's my drywall. So I'll call that finished two. So, this uh, should have everything set exactly as we want it. And now if we click preview, and it shows that we have these different layers and the actual thicknesses in here as well. Now you can also choose the category. So I'm gonna click this little dotted uh, box in by category. To open up your categories, you need to click on this button here. It shows your library panel. And then I'm gonna resize this to make these a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to read drag over here. We want to open up Autodesk materials and then we're going to take a look at the wood materials because we have a wood siding and we're going to go to siding clabbered right here. So I'm going to add this material to my document and then it's up here now so now I can click this and apply it and then click OK. So now you can see the color has changed just a little bit. We're going to go through and do the rest of these. I'm going to change this one and the next piece, which is wood, and add that above, and then click Apply, and then OK. And then we have that material. We're going to do the same thing for this one. This is just going to be wood. It's already in this section, so just click OK.
And then the last one is going to be under plaster. And that's a gypsum wallboard. So select this, choose up. It's up in my documents here and then apply that and we click okay. Now we've defined all of our layers. So we click okay and then choose okay again. So now it's selected this. This is our basic shed wall. You can see the arrows here on the outside of the wall. We want um, this to be set exactly like this because that's how we've defined our wall. Whereas the top edge of this is on the outside and that's what this core boundary is saying, that this core boundary number one is on the outside edge. Um, and then we click, uh, let's go back, and we need to change this wall also. We're going to change that wall to the shed wall. And if I actually click and control click, you see the plus appear there, I can change multiple walls at once. Now it's really in your best interest to edit your wall first before you draw them all so you don't have to reselect them and do it, but I just kind of wanted to show you um, how it can be done in this fashion. You also need to, by design specs, add an interior room. So for your interior room, it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to choose the shed wall, we're going to edit type, and we're going to duplicate this. And now we're going to call it interior shed wall. Click OK. Because the interior shed wall is just 2x4 with gypsum wallboard on it. So let's edit this. We're going to delete this finish here and delete this finish and then we're going to insert a half inch. This is a finish layer also. I'm going to call it finish two. We're going to match this gypsum. Change your material to gypsum wallboard and click OK. And now this wall is actually only four and a half inches thick because it doesn't have that extra half inch layer. All we have is a two by four and a half inch drywall or gypsum drywall on each side. Click OK and then click OK again. And now you can place your wall wherever it is that uh, you would like. You can click it once to make a line, click to select that, and then click again. Make sure when you select your wall, I'm going to click modify so that I can select these, that your room size is reasonable. So if you need to try to figure out what's reasonable, grab a tape measure, pull it on the floor and see what would be a reasonable little storage area within the shed that you might be able to use something for. And that should be it for your walls.